My name is Brian Garrett. I work at the corporate headquarters for the most part, but technically I work at every office. I have been with Wells Insurance now for 10 years. Prior to that, I had retail jobs, so I worked at Walmart, and I worked at McDonald's for two years. And then um, I did a one year overseas contracting gig uh, in Afghanistan, so that's the most I'm allowed to say about that. Wells is just a different type of company. I didn't know a company like Wells existed, honestly, before I came to work there. I know that there's tons of large companies out there. There's tons of small companies too. There's not a lot of companies like Wells, so I just enjoy working here. I have since day one. My aunt actually managed an insurance agency back in my hometown, so I went to work for, for her straight out of high school, got licensed, was doing all that, and then I also managed their offices um, tech stuff. So I realized I had way more of a passion for tech than I did for insurance. I had just finished the overseas contracting job and I found this job on Craigslist. When I originally interviewed, it was for a hybrid IT slash account manager position. So I got the interview and they decided to put me just in IT, not in insurance. So working at Wells has definitely shown me that there are good companies out there still. Not that every company out there is bad, but I just tend to have this negative view of the corporate world. And Wells Insurance shows me that this is not the case every time. So I love that I have the freedom to search for and fix all of the company's technological problems. I love that I can start all the way from step one of troubleshooting and finish all the way at you know step 85 of implementing the fix. The first year that I was here at Wells Insurance, Hal Wells approached me and asked me to buy him a new MacBook. Well, I had purchased my own MacBook on eBay not too long prior to that, and it was a great transaction, and it was a great price. So I went to the same company, checked out all their reviews, still five stars, ordered Hal his MacBook, and it just all went downhill from there. I got a shipping notification, then I got a delivery notification. Well, of course, I went over to the front desk and I said, hey, where's that MacBook at? And they're like, what MacBook? We haven't seen a MacBook. So of course, you know, we had paid with PayPal and I put in a request to, you know, do an investigation because we have this item that says it was delivered. We ended up um, contacting the post office and we were able to get information about where it was delivered. And I went to these people's house after contacting them because they had their phone number on record. And they were like, yeah, we have this package here, but it's like, you know, a, a little mailer envelope. It's not, you know, it can't possibly be a computer unless they just make them that small these days. I drove to these people's house and this package was on their table. And I was like, well, you know, I took out my pocket knife. I was like, do you mind if I open this and just see what it is? And when I did, when I slit the top, sand went spilling out all over their kitchen table. So it's actually down on the bottom shelf there here in my office still, I keep it. It was in my first year of employment at that time. I was like, I'm gonna get fired over a bag of sand. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously Hurricane Florence was a big one for us all. It was unprecedented for many people's here's careers. Hurricane Florence was crazy for me because I had to bust out the generators and we had to run extension cables all over the place and we had to set up fans and we had to make sure that, you know, Command Central on the first floor here could operate so that we could serve our clients. A buddy of mine and I, we bike the Cross City Trail a lot. And when I say a lot, my free time is a lot more limited now that I have a two year old and a almost ground zero day one old soon, within the next 10 days at most. Um, but I like to go biking with him. And apart from that, it's really just hanging out, you know, with the family these days. That's, you know, they're my world now. At the same time that I've been working at Wells Insurance, I've been uh, partnering and volunteering with the Cape Fear Volunteer Center and Annie Anthony, their owner. I work a lot with her. I enjoy taking recycled tech, donating it to her, making sure that they can continue their operation. And the reason I like her organization so much is because they are the big buddy program here in Wilmington. So at risk youth um, who need some mentors to help guide them in the right direction because they may not otherwise have that in their life is just something that really speaks to me and really stands out as a you know a program that I really want to stay behind for as long as I can or for as long as it operates. Right now the top of my bucket list is finishing grad school, getting my doctorate degree. Super excited, been a lifelong dream 
ever since I was in high school, I said one day I would have a doctorate degree. So my favorite book, I don't, almost of all time, is actually on this table right here in front of me. It's called The General Book of Ignorance. Big Bang Theory, hands down, love it. So this one's kind of funny. Some people laugh at this, but one of my all time favorite movies because it has such a, you know, I reminisce back to my childhood when this movie came out and Robin Williams, he has a special place in my heart, but Mrs. Doubtfire. One of my favorite movies of all time. And that movie is just hilarious. Like, it's a riot. So this goes back to my high school days, but I actually enjoy Hello Goodbye a lot. I'd say success is just busting your butt and getting it done. Taking the time to enjoy life is a good thing, and everyone should, but I am a self-professed workaholic. So, to me, success is just putting every possible second into getting it done. My dad, probably has been the most influential person in my life because he told me that he would give me all the advice in the world but it was up to me to do it. He told me like how to manage my finances, what credit was, how to keep a good credit score, like told me to go to school and also told me that whenever he tells me something he's gonna stand by it. Right. So he also he gave me this option when I graduated high school that if I wanted to go to a four-year university and have the college experience that he would pay for it all, right? He also told me that if I didn't take that route, that it was up to me to figure it out. Well, I chose the latter. I worked, you know, paid for my own schooling and stuff. Not that he hasn't been for me, because he's like a, he's been there for me, but like I said, he's a great guy and he's always, you know, provided the advice, but he's always told me that if I want it, I gotta do it. And that really has been the best advice to me because he just showed me that you know, you can you can look out there, you can seek, you can, all the advice in the world can be given to you, but unless you actually take it, you're going to fall short. We got a refund from PayPal. <laughs> Didn't get the MacBook, ordered it from a different company. Have not really ordered anything from eBay since then.